count with cookies. Basic Addition 1 Number Range 1 to 10 Let's start with something you might think is simple. 1 plus 1 Now let's say that the lower cookie is yours and the upper one is mine. And you give me your cookie. So how many cookies do I have now? That's right, two. Here's another example. One plus four. I have one cookie, you have four, and you give them to me. So how many do I have now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, correct. Three plus four. We do as before. You give me your cookies, which means I have three plus four, which equals? Hmm. Can you figure it out? Seven. Perfect. Three plus seven. And now to something slightly more challenging. We do as before and move these cookies upwards. How many full rows are there on the baking tray? Aha! Well, how many full rows are there? That's right, one. But we're not finished yet. How many single cookies are there on the baking tray? Can you see any cookies except from the full row? No. Then we write a zero after the one to get... 10. But why do we write 10 this way, with a one and then a zero? Now I will explain why. If you count on your fingers and start with 1 for the first finger, you will finally get to 9. Then the digits end. There are no more of them. But we have 10 fingers. So what shall we do? We start all over with the number 1 again. And to distinguish it from the first one we used, we put a 0 after. So this is why we write the number 10 the way we do. In the next lesson, I will talk more about the number 10, and more particularly, friends of 10. So, see you then!